Our research was focused on sound production treatment, or SPT, that we provided for this patient with acquired apraxia of speech due to stroke during the pandemic via Zoom telemedicine. Our research team included Dr. Whitney Postman, who is a research professor at St. Louis University, and Natalie Carr, Liz Eichen, Katie Bullen, and myself, who are all graduate clinicians at St. Louis University. We picked SPT for this patient because it is a refined treatment that focuses on improving accuracy of spatial targeting and timing of articulation at the segmental and syllable level. It has been shown to result in generalization and maintenance of both trained and untrained sounds. We knew the patient would respond well to the repetition, integral stimulation, modeling, phonetic placement cues, and feedback to facilitate consonant production. Most of all, we knew it would be beneficial due to its emphasis on minimal contrast treatment because the client would be producing words that are minimally different, allowing him to gain detailed sensory information and allowing for improved motor programming and, and planning, as well as movement patterns necessary to distinguish between minimally different sounds. We focused on multiple S blends, SP, SM, SN, SK, and ST. On this slide, I provided examples of visual stimuli we provided the patient in order to be successful. In these pictures, he benefited from our highlighted initial sound prolongation, syllable isolation with the long dash between each syllable, and the highlighting to emphasize the minimal contrast SM versus SN. The patient had very few errors during our intervention, but when he did, they consisted of sound distortions such as snare for sneer, which is a vowel distortion, lexical intrusion saying snuggler for smuggler, which is replacing it with a real word, substitutions such as substituting M for N, reductions, priming errors, anticipatory errors, or we called them smart errors because it showed good motor planning. For example, he said slugler for snuggler, anticipating the L sound early. Lastly, he had a few perseverative errors saying snugner for snuggler. So to sum up, I wanted to mention all the successful strategies, a lot of which he used independently. So he used inner rehearsal, he used visual cues provided to him by us, over articulation, syllable isolation and word isolation, initial sound prolongation cues, repetition, slowing down his rate of speech, and backwards buildup.